Hey, what's up guys? It's Jared from Valorant Update, and on today's video, we're going to dive into a theory on how the new map Fracture might be related to Omen's death. And to do that, we're going to take a look at the teasers the new map Fracture has, as well as compare them alongside with Omen's voice lines. As Valorant has progressed, we've gone from hearing Omen being referred to as Fred, to switching towards being referred to as Jaw. Fred, I mean, Omen. Keep yourself together, you're still needed. Jaw... I mean, Omen, keep yourself together, you're still needed. I couldn't quite figure out a reason why Valorant would change the voice line about Omen's name unless it was more of a red herring and they wanted you to focus on it because the clue was meant to be misleading. Especially when you consider that the Valorant devs have already stated that the new map Fracture will have different lore on each update. As you move from Defender Spawn towards the middle, you'll see that there's a floating orb above one of the computers that you can interact with that comes equipped with an email. The email is titled to a new employee named Oren McEnoff. And if you look at the letters that are capitalized in the name, it starts to spell Omen. The email to Oren references his new partner, Ruben. And if you head to the opposite side of this computer terminal, you can access Ruben's computer and see the email that Oren sent him. Along with Oren's name looking like an acronym for the name Omen, he also states in this email that he's confident in our math, but he's being paranoid which I believe could be a link towards Omen's ability, Paranoia. We learn from the PBE that Ruben Pontus is some type of scientist for the Omega Sector of Kingdom Corporation. And with Or McKinoff being Ruben's partner, that would make him a scientist for the Alpha Sector working alongside him. And if we're to believe that Omen is Or McKinoff, it would only make sense as to why Omen is the only character in-game that has a voice line that references an experiment. Experiment complete. So the question becomes, if Omen is Or McKinoff, then how did Or McKinoff die? Well, as you see, the two computer terminals are placed directly above the Radeon Collider, which means that they're both likely the head scientists that control it and monitor it at all times. From what we saw in the Fracture cinematic, Deadeye shot the Collider and it sent it into a form of meltdown, which was evident by all the computers on the map stating that a temperature overload was imminent. And in all likelihood, Kingdom Corporation would send Oren McKinoff and Ruben Pontes to try to save the Collider from overload. And Oren McKinoff being exposed to toxic radionite during a collider meltdown is what I believed caused his body to deteriorate. Sabine, look at the monsters we've become. At least you have flesh to hide your horror. I believe Orm McKinoff eventually does save the Collider from a complete meltdown and possibly saving Alpha Kingdom for now, but in the process, he dies. Which is evident by this voice line from Omen. Make the right choice even if it calls for sacrifice. As we know from the voice lines, Viper and Omen used to be past friends. Keep being their nightmare, old friend. I believe Viper tried to save Omen from his Radiantite deterioration, and it resulted in him forming some type of shadowy figure. Just think, Sabine. You used to heal with your skill. Funny. One experiment after another, they were finally able to save a piece of Omen, but they had to split it from his physical body and encapsulate it in something else. Which is evident by this voice line from Omen when he loads into the map Split. Split? Ah, they don't know the meaning of the word. The Radionite exposure from the Collider melting down is what gives Omen his abilities. The Radionite exposure explains why Omen's arms are wrapped in bandages and why his face is glowing. And since Omen's body was tore apart by the Radeon Collider and then reassembled, it makes sense why his body can physically dissolve and then reappear. As we saw from Dave Nottingham, the next update we will see some more lore put into the map and hopefully it's another email and this time a response from Ruben to Oren so maybe we can fill this theory with more information. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in more of my Valorant content. And as always, my name is Jared and I will see you guys next time.